Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, April the 1st. In the previous post, we looked at programming the SI5351A clock generator, and those are the SMA outputs going into coaxial cables. Now, in this particular uh, post, we're going to look at the I2C bus. So the uh, clock generator is programmed from the Arduino, and there's the SCL and SDA. That's the I2C bus that goes between the Arduino and the module, and it gets its power down here. It's getting five volts and ground. Now, instead of using the uh, terminated uh, coaxial lines here, what I've got is a, I've got a scope on channel A, a scope probe on channel A, and a scope probe on channel B. So instead of a terminated coax is coming in here, now I'm gonna be looking just with standard scope probes, I'm gonna be looking at the I2C line. So you can sort of carefully clip the scope into the, um, the pin header connection there for the SCL and the SDA. And I've got the ground here. There's a, a two ground pin available here on the Arduino. So that's the setup for uh, looking at the I2C bus. And then I'm gonna use, um, this is a digital scope, which is very handy. So I'm gonna use the digital scope and it's got an I2C decoder in there. So we'll switch over cam to Camtasia and what we'll do is we'll look at the output of the Arduino, the program that was used to set up the whisper frequencies at 10, 12, and 15 uh, meters. We'll look at the, that program outputs and how it makes sense in the I2C bus. Okay, so we're just looking at the scope setup here. Uh, we've got two channels, channel A. It's DC coupled. I've just got the probe set at times one. And uh, I've got STA on A and the clock SCL on B. Again, it's DC coupled. I'm going to be uh, using around one millisecond per division. I've got the uh, trigger point over here. Now, since the um, burst of data from the Arduino to the SI5351A is a one-time event, it's not a periodic event, so we can't use period. We can't use periodic um, uh, a view on the scope. We have to use a, a trigger. We have to use the um, a single trigger. So I'm going to set it for a falling edge. That'll be the SDA falling. We'll set it off. Okay. And um, I'm going to use the SDA as a source. And um, then I'm going to go over to the Arduino and I'm going to upload the um, sketch. And when the data is sent, it'll trigger. And uh, the nice thing about the digital scope is it can store it all. So let's do that. Let's go over the Arduino and we're gonna upload it. Okay, so we're gonna upload the waveform. Here we go. And we'll go over to the scope. And there we have the capture on the scope. Now the nice thing we can do with the uh, digital scope is of course we can save all of that can also expand this. We can look at it. Let's look at the beginning. So there's the beginning. And I'll just move the clock waveform down here. The other thing we can do with the digital scope is we can decode. So we can go into here into serial decoding. And there's lots of options here. So we'll go into I2C. Next. Channel A is the data and channel B is the clock. Be careful to keep these inverting off uh, options off because we don't want to invert the, uh, the waveform trigger. And then we'll go next. We want to look at hex and finish. So there we go. So there we can see, for instance, let's expand that a little bit. So there's the SDA, nominally uh, five volts. Incidentally, the um, VDD in our system here is five volts from the Arduino. And the um, Adafruit board has a 3.3 .3 and a five volt regulator and a 10K pull-ups. So it can work at 3.3 .3 or five volts. So we're working at five volts. So the SDA is nominally high. It goes low during the clock pulse. So there's your start. Now the first seven bits here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's your address. So you've got zero there and 011, which is six. So that's the address, six zero. That's the address of the um, SI5351. 
Now this bit here is either zero or one. It's zero, which means you're writing. And then here is the ACK. So the slave device, the SI, uh, pulls the SDA low to say, yes, I did receive the information correctly. If this was a one, that would be, that would be a NAC. Now the next um, couple of packets here, what's happening here, we have another start pulse here. Now we have the address followed by two sets of data. So this data here will be the address of the register that you're going to write to. Again, we're writing here. This bit is a zero, which means we're writing. And that's the data for that particular register. And down here, of course, we're, we're saving all this decode into a spreadsheet. So this is the advantage of using a digital scope is you have all these various measurement possibilities here and you can save all the information and you can scroll through the whole thing. And you can also save it to a file and you can save it to a file and work on it later on and do all sorts of more manipulations and, and uh, measurements, etc.